Little Port Walter, a very special place. Where are we going today? Little Port Walter, into the into the bay where the federal uh, there was no uh, fishery station is. Have we been there? Uh, we've been in we've been in uh, Big Port Walter and uh, I think it's Denmark Bay. We anchored up a night in there, uh, but not Little Port Walter. So we've been into Port Walter proper, but. Uh, The Little Port Walter Research Station is the primary field research facility of the Auk Bay Laboratory and is located 110 miles south of Juneau, Alaska, near the southeastern tip of Baranoff Island. It is the oldest year-round biological research station in Alaska and has been a host to a wide variety of fisheries research projects since 1934. Personnel stationed at Little Port Walter range from a midwinter low of two to a summertime high of 25 to 30 researchers and support staff, depending on the requirements of the various experiments underway. We are currently crossing Chatham Strait to get to our destination. The station is on U.S. Forest Service land in the Tongass National Forest and is accessible only by boat or seaplane. Little Port Walter is just north of Port Alexander, where we visited last year. As you can see on the map, both are serviced by seaplanes. We're headed across an icy strait. And uh, it's not really bad, but it's not smooth. Chatham Strait is near the open Gulf of Alaska, so there is quite a bit of water. We anchored in Little Port Walter's Inner Harbor. It is recommended to only enter the port between half and high tide, and preferably on a rising tide. To enter the Inner Harbor, you want to stay next to the west shore. We're coming into Little Port Walter. Begin to tempt this last year. I'm gonna give it a shot this year. It's this little neck he's worried about. If you look at the water, you can see where it's a little bit different, where it's shallow. So we're sticking over on the west side in this area to cut through. Over on the right, you're seeing a white building that's one of the main buildings built in the 1930s using the Civilian Conservation Corps labor and materials from an abandoned saltery. It's a three-story brick structure which is used as a dormitory, residence, laboratory, and a mess hall. And here's the route we took to get in there. And we are anchored. It's really a pretty spot. We have friends who lived here for many years. So we've always wanted to come and see this spot. It was quite the ride to get here. I think totally worth it. Like I said, I've been wanting to see this for years. 
I do want to point out that the facility has signs up asking you not to anchor past these signs. There's one on the tree on the east side and there's one on the building on the west side. So you'll want to pay attention to those. Little Port Walter receives an average annual precipitation of over 226 inches and as such is the wettest permanent settlement in the United States and among the wettest in the world. We've had five fabulous sunny days in the rainiest place in Southeast Alaska. The weather was so awesome the next few days, we just hung around the boat and relaxed. Happy birthday. Thank you. Cheers. Not bad for a birthday place, huh? Yeah, nice day. It's great. This actually makes me think of his 60th birthday. We were in the white Runabout in Ford's Terror. AK 6142AT. That was pretty fun too. It was. It's a good thing having a birthday on a boat. Yeah, it was only two years ago. I know. That's what's crazy. Life has changed so much. We have a totally awesome day and we're out to go explore. Got a chart on that. Water. Little Port Walter is comprised of 11 buildings. The main building is the big white building that we saw when we entered the Inner Harbor. Other facilities include two wet laboratories, a warehouse, wood and metal shops, a conference room, a floating wet lab and feed shed, several residences for researchers and maintenance staff, and a permanent concrete fish weir on nearby Sashin Creek, which flows into the head of the inner bay at Little Port Walter. This stream has natural runs of pink, chum, and coho salmon, as well as Dolly Varden chum and steelhead trout. Research facilities include an experimental hatchery and an array of fish and saltwater floating raceways and net pens served by a controlled water source capable of delivering 900 gallons per minute. These facilities are used to conduct a variety of fish rearing studies, some of which can extend over a period of several years. Chinook salmon from three distinct genetic lines, chum salmon, pink salmon, and steelhead trout are the principal species under study at Little Port Walter. This is the NOAA station at Little Port Walter. And that big white house over there. Our friends, Betty and Jerry, and their daughter, Jetty lived here for many years. The facility still has a picture of Jetty while she was living at Little Port Walter. In 1947, Betty and Jerry Olson moved to Little Port Walter and were the caretakers for the facility. Jetty was born in Juneau in 1951 and flew to Little Port Walter with her mom on a float plane at 10 days old. They lived there till 1961 when they moved to Juneau. Jetty was kind enough to share some additional photos from her childhood in Little Port Walter. We also saw a picture of our friend Mark Hoover and his kids from when they were assisting with spawning one year. The maintenance person, Brad, and one of the research people, Heather, spent some time with us and gave us just an awesome tour. Really labor intensive. Now they use a different type of trap. They don't use, they try to use traps more like this. We just got an awesome tour, didn't we? Yes, we did. Brad and Heather gave us a tour of the whole facility, all the way up to the weir, all the way up the creek there. Yeah, pretty cool. Lots of history here. Been here since they've been doing science or research here since 1933. Yeah. After
after our land tour, we got in the dinghy and we took a look around. See that webcam? Ward Air can uh, use that webcam to see what the weather's like in here. That helps the pilots decide whether or not they're going to take off and head to Little Port Walter. They're the little ones. They're all, all salmon starting about that size. I know, but the ones that they were showing us were that size and the, the kings were bigger. All Good. kinds of them. Good eating. Acclimating to the freshwater. Solid water. Is that what they're doing? Probably. This is all that fresh water is on top. So you can see how it's cloudy. Uh -huh. Fresh water on top of the soil. So this upper layout here is much colder. It's all water. been anchored here at Little Port Walter for oh five days or so. It's been a wonderful anchorage. We've been around the bay several times now with the little boat and the depth finder on it. I would say that the fact that we have tracks to follow right now is a really good thing. Over here we know that there's some small islands of rocks. Can't see a thing right now. right there. So there's another narrow spot, but not as bad. The 
see the radar showing the opening. know from the AIS that the closest vessel is about six miles away. Without this, I would not be able to tell you where we were. We've got the radar, so if another boat doesn't have AIS, they should show up as a blip here. We love Alaska. It just doesn't get much better than this. Have a see you next time.